Hello and welcome back. We're here with Lelania Dubay from the Hartford Flavor Company and we're going to be mixing up some of their signature cocktails. So let's get started. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, awesome. All right, first we're going to do a Miss Rose cocktail, which okay. is super easy. Um, I like to open up some Prosecco. Okay, <laughs> awesome. I love opening up that as well. The trick to opening up a bottle of Prosecco is to twist the bottle. Hold the oh, cork still. Okay. Open it up as quietly as you can. That um, is very quiet. Pour it into a, uh, a flute. Okay. And you're gonna leave about uh, a little bit of room at the top. Okay. And then pour on top the rose liqueur. Ooh. About an ounce. Okay. You get a nice color. And then I like to garnish this with a little bit of dried rose Ooh. petals in the top. What was this one called? Miss Rose. Okay, Miss Rose. Let's bring Miss Rose over here for a little taste test. Very good. Very Isn't that light. Yummy? Very yeah, nice. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Wow. Easy to drink. Very easy to drink. All right, number two. Yes, the number two is called a birch and bourbon. Ooh. Okay. And I like to start with a, a large ice cube. Ooh. How do you make those blocked ice So cubes? there's um, they come special trays that you can okay. buy, silicone trays, very easy. Makes sense. I'm <laughs> going to start with the uh, bourbon. I like to use uh, Litchfield Distillery Bourbon, Okay. Um, but there's many higher quality bourbons. You want to put in um, about, that's about an ounce uh, okay. to an ounce and a half, depending on your taste. Try it a few times and then uh, see where you like it. And then I'm going to put in uh, equal parts or just a little less of the wild moon birch. Okay. And I'm going to stir quickly with a black birch stick, okay. which you can cut up in your yard or you can use any kind of stick that you'd like. Okay. And then I'm going to take a peel of a very clean washed orange. Ooh. And this is the trick that ties everything together, mm -hmm. the citrus of the orange. Okay. So you want to squeeze it in. Get some of those oils released, wipe the edge. So not a whole in. lot of that orange, but just enough to kind of flavor it and give flavor. it that. Exactly, nice. you're gonna mix it again, and you're gonna serve it to your guest. Beautiful. Oh, look, I'm the guest. <laughs> oh. I like this Isn't like additive fun? too. I love how all of your cocktails kind of pull in like that piece of naturalness that you guys are all about at Wild Moon. Thank you, it makes it a little bit different. Who else has a stick out of their drink? Oh, and I do taste like that light of the orange Absolutely. in there as well, and it's a perfect blend. Yep, ties it all together. That's great. So number one, number two, all right. and our third one. Yes, number three, I've got uh, some mint leaves here, okay. and I'm gonna take a uh, sliver of lime, and okay. I'm gonna muddle those two together. Ooh. Not too much, you don't wanna bruise the mint too much, just enough okay. to get the citrus releasing its flavor. And then I'm going to put in some ice. Okay. And I'm going to measure this. Okay. I'm going to do an ounce and a half of Wild Moon Cucumber. This is called a CT Cooler. It's one of our more popular drinks in the tasting room. Yes, I love cucumber, so I'll, I'm excited to try this. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I didn't bring the tonic. Well, that's all right. We can just add Prosecco <laughs> because that goes great with everything. <laughs> all right. Now we'll do an ounce of Prosecco. We can do two if we're going like. to shake it first. Oh, we're going to shake it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so pop it into a shaker. There we go. Everybody loves that sound. Yes, I do. <laughs> that gets everything mixing and combining. Okay. And then we're going to pour it into a Collins glass. Okay. And we'll top with more champagne. Yes, we are. So can we call this the pop talk version of pop your... Pop talk version of, of your the cucumber CT cooler. cooler. Absolutely. I love it. Sounds good. Perfect. Pop talk cooler. And then we'll have a fun straw oh, in there. And I think I know somebody who likes your straws. Can we bring Dr. Dory on Absolutely. to try this one? All right, Dr. Dory, yes. have a taste. Let's see how it. All right. See how it is. The first original. Yes, pop -talk the cooler. the pop talk cooler, everyone. <laughs> so go there and order it. She will. They will make it. 
Oh, that's that's good. that good? Isn't that really yummy? Good. Oh my gosh, really yeah. Good. Yeah, I love the straw, of course. Yes. Of course. Yes. Why She's not? <laughs> a huge fan of the straws. I am, I am too. Um, and then you had one more, you said possibly you could um, make for yeah, us today? Yeah, if you want to. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Let's yeah, do let's it. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to take uh, the shaker. Okay. And I'm going to add one ounce of our Wild Moon Rose. Okay. And I'm going to add an ounce and a half of vodka. Uh, I like to use a clean vodka, something that's either organic or um, with sustainably harvested grains. Okay, yeah, I was gonna ask you, what makes a vodka you know, on the cleaner side or, or healthier side of a vodka? Well, I like to, it depends on where it's made, how it's been sourced, okay. what it, where it's from. Um, and then I've got uh, some fresh organic lemonade. Okay. And I'll put two and a half ounces of that into the shaker. I can shake this if you would like. If you want to. Yes, that's what <laughs> I've been waiting for. <laughs> okay. And let me get some ice for you. Okay. So it's lemonade, the rose. Wild Moon Rose, okay. yep. And vodka. And vodka. Not hard. You always want to build okay. it in the glass part of the shaker. Okay. Pour it in, slap it hard, and, and now hold shake. both sides and shake. Okay. I've never shaken with a glass. I always use like the top. I have the to do both sides. I mean, <laughs> all right. And Thank now you. I'm going to shake it a little more. Oh, okay. Wasn't enough. <laughs> the glass drain. Nice. And actually, we'll pour it into the coop here. Ooh. So how did you learn to make all of these? Are you just, you know, kind of a connoisseur how you liked these beverages? Or did you kind of do some research on mixology or? I had always had a love for the cocktail okay. um, way before my time as a distiller. Can you try this one? Oh, yeah. OK. I'm going to have Dr. Dory try this one as well. This is called a Jessica Rose. Jessica Okay. Yep. And uh, I always just love to make cocktails at home and jams and jellies and fun foods. So nice. this is not outside the realm too much. Just yeah. so it's nice. just a little more fun. This <laughs> is amazing. If you guys want to learn more about the Hartford Flavor Company, you can like them on Facebook as well as checking out their location two miles down from right here. Um, you can also visit them at HartfordFlavor.com. Thank you so much for being Thank here so and much. making us some amazing cocktails and creating a classic pop talk. Nothing CT like Cooler. it. CT Cooler. So make like sure it. you order this. I will get royalties, possibly. We'll have it in the tasting um, room. <laughs> yes, no, that's amazing. So thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Dory, for also being here as well. That's about all the time we have for today. So thank you for tuning in to Pop Talk with Luke Fry. And I think we're going to have a couple more drinks. So uh, see you next time. <laughs>